Welcome to Studio Spotlight. Today we're featuring Jamie Wallen. Thank you for having me. I so appreciate it. Oh, I'm so excited to have you with us. So I have had the absolute amazing opportunity to work with Jamie a little bit. I've done some teaching in his shop. He came and taught at Academy. And you just have such an amazing style and I think such a great influence in our, the quilting oh, community. Thank you. I think when you're around a long time, you're around a long time. <laughs> <laughs> people recognize you. It's very, very true. Right. Yeah, people yeah. do. Yeah. So I'm really excited. So we, we, we've been talking a little bit and we're going to talk about your quilting journey. Sure. So let's jump in. Where, how did you get started with quilting? So I actually got started um, in the mid 90s. So I was okay. about 95. I was a burned out nurse. Oh. So I had done my time and I loved it, mm -hmm. um, but I was also a workaholic. Mm -hmm. So my average hours were approximately 70 hours a week. Oh, good heavens. Um, oh. I did not do vacations. My director of nurses came to me, said, hey, you've been here for 10 years and you've never taken a vacation. You have five months of vacation time. Oh my word. And I said, um, oh, okay, well, that's okay. And she said, no, you don't understand. I'm leaving i haven't told anybody oh. in about six months so you're gonna lose four months of that we're fully staffed mm -hmm. and she was a good friend of mine so mm -hmm. she said we're fully staffed why don't you take four months of that now starting like next week and i'm like okay well, that's good treat. yeah that's good money yeah and i can just stay home and remember yeah. what home was like <laughs> um so i did and the second day off mm -hmm. i was bouncing off the walls <laughs> because i was constantly working and um, I went to a friend's house. He called and said, hey, can you help me put up my fence? And I said, absolutely, I'm off. I'll be right there. So I drove over, uh -huh. we put up the fence, we went in for lunch, and his wife was a quilter. Oh. She wasn't a long arm quilter, but okay. she was a piecer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so there were, was this stack of magazines. Uh -huh. And I remember, remember this was mid-95. Right. I grabbed this magazine opened it up and the first thing I saw was a long arm quilting machine. Really? And instead of thinking quilts, cause I wasn't there. Right, right. Um, yeah. I thought, oh, this is like a giant art pencil and I could do my portrait stuff, which I love to do in the evenings to come down from work. Okay. And uh, because I work so much, I had money back then yes. before I became a quilter. <laughs> <laughs> and I drove three days later after mm -hmm. I helped him mm -hmm. put up his fence. Yeah drove out to where that machine was. And back then you opened a magazine and you just assumed there's no test driving, right? There was no, no shows. No, there was none of that. No. So I went out and I walked into the place where I got mm -hmm. my machine. My first machine, uh, said I'd like a machine. They didn't even have stitch regulators then. Oh uh, yes. So, um, I purchased it, uh, five weeks later, it you showed up. You hadn't even, okay, so honestly, you had not even seen how one of these worked. Didn't have a sewing machine even. So never, I just wow. thought, I'll try it, why not? Why not? Why not? So <laughs> oh um, got delivered, we had no dealers back then. Yes, yes. So there was nothing. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was you get to the bottom of the box, mm -hmm. this these crates, <laughs> Yeah. and there's a one page blow up chart, and that was your manual. That's all you had. Wow. So that was kind of my interim into it. Baptism um, by fire. Uh, it was totally baptism by fire. <laughs> and I remember um, I had the machine. I started playing, you know, trying to figure it all out because you couldn't call them. They don't want to be yeah. bothered yeah, back yeah. then. Um, it's like, good luck. Figure it out. Um, yeah. And maybe one day there'll be classes or something. So that's how I started. And then... Um, the only book that I remember was a Joe Cunningham and Pepper mm. Corey. Okay. And it was hand quilting. Oh, yeah. And it was meander. And it was wow. um, straight lines. And I think there was oh, wow. um, a wreath, a feathered wreath. Uh -huh. And so that was my reference point to figure things out. Oh, my god. Had gosh. never pieced. So I was quilting on um, sheets. Uh-huh. Just plain fabric. Oh, totally. And with, um, I didn't even know about batting. So oh, I had wow. like um, <laughs> blankets that I oh, yeah. get from mm -hmm. uh, the store, yeah. whatever was back then. I think it was yeah. even pre-Walmart. Yeah. But um, so I had that and that was my learning process. 
And then what I did is when I got good enough, and then a short time later, about a year later, mm -hmm. I was, I was, it was time. Yeah. As old nurses know, once you start thinking about pillow oh. therapy, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So I retired from nursing okay. and then I went full time into the quilting. I was lucky enough wow. to start gathering clientele and uh -huh. I was very naive. We have a place in Michigan called Turkeyville, which is this mm -hmm. craft place and turkeys and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Dinner theater kind of place and gotcha. they'd have these craft shows. And so I'd set up these booths mm -hmm. with some of my quilting samples mm. that I'd have from the designs that mm -hmm. I had. And there was actually a, a nice big quilting area where there was a nice guild. Oh, nice. And so I got lucky immediately and I started gathering a clientele. Mm -hmm. And I think within six or seven months, I had about um, 200 quilts waiting under my machine. Now, wow. Also, <laughs> the one thing that I remember uh -huh is that being that new yeah. it was always like people would come and say you know here's a quilt you know what about what is your timeline and when you're new you think oh, oh about three or four weeks oh, yeah. and even like 50 or 60 quilts later you're still telling people oh, yeah. three, or four, three weeks. or four weeks yeah three or four weeks so then i realized you know, i have all these quilts Oops. so it was hustle it mm -hmm. was definitely 18 hour a day quilting and it's been that way all along so you went from Nursing 18 to right. quilting 18 yes. in like a year. Yes. That's incredible. But at home with my dogs. Which That's was true. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So I loved yes. that. Yes. So that was that was my my actual start. And then with the um, with the teaching, mm -hmm. um, what was happening back then is quilting started to boom. Yes. And you people would go to shows, and what you'd get at the booths is you can make $200,000 a year, you yeah, know, the, yeah, the line yeah, yeah. that they would tell I, us. I remember. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And um, so I had a lot of people who, a lot of um, women friends, girlfriends oh. that were buying machines mm -hmm. and um, mortgaging their houses to yeah. do this. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, that was intense for them. Yeah. And so I started kind of mentoring because I'd been doing it already mm -hmm. for many years. Yeah, you figured it out. Yeah, I figured it out. I had been coming up with my own designs so that mm -hmm. I could do some stuff. And um, um, and that was it. And then that's when the teaching took off. Oh, wow. Um, so from one caretaking thing into another, any of the caretaking stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. So, which I love. Yeah. I love. And, yeah. you know, I've always felt... Um, I've always felt more comfortable with women. Mm -hmm. um, I like the camaraderie. Yeah. There's, there, there's, I just, I love the feel because I was a nurse for so yeah, many years. Yeah. It was comfortable. I didn't go through the normal guy in quilting thing. Yeah. Um, because well, I had no ego. Well, and plus it was, that wasn't a thing back then wasn't either. Wasn't a thing back then. At all. Yeah, it wasn't so, a thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I was very fortunate. Oh. It was the right time, right place mm -hmm. um, to start developing my own thing yeah so that was that oh wow that's so cool so i know that you've taught at a lot of national shows how yeah. did you get because i think people ask that question how how do how do how does that happen right so how did that happen like teaching at houston and stuff so for me um i was pretty lucky and this is the one time where i was the token guy and it was mm. helpful gotcha and so because i was the token guy i had developed a good reputation mm -hmm. yeah. um, and i was fortunate that people would ask yeah and um and that just kind of kept snowballing after proving that I wasn't a jerk. Right. 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 And that's you have good. the chops. Yep. So and I, you know, and I always tell men that are coming into the industry the thing that you need to know is, you know, you're you're being welcomed into a family system. Mm -hmm. This is not corporate guy stuff. You have to know your place because mm -hmm. there is a place and I don't mean that in a weird way. Oh no. There is a common courtesy that gentlemen need to show when they come into an industry that is predominantly women mm -hmm. and that is run well and not exploited. Mm -hmm. yes. Because women have a tendency to nurture. Yes. Men have a tendency to exploit. <laughs> and that's the difference and that's what they need to mm -hmm. know if they're going to enter into that industry. And get into it. Yeah. Well, that's yep. really cool. So how many years have you been on the teaching circuit out there, national shows, everything else? Approximately, 
I would say 20-ish. Mm -hmm. um, 95 was when I got my first machine, so I would say 20-ish. Started very slow because um, um, I, I needed to know how to figure out my machine. I had yeah. nothing. Oh, I, yeah. I had to learn all everything myself. So if you did that, you tension. Own. You know, I think it took me a good three years to figure out tension. It was wow. because we and you were already quilting know. for people. Yeah, I love and I was that. Already, yeah, so you just kind of <laughs> go on the fly. There was a little bit of ripping out going on. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Learn how to frog mm -hmm. real well. <laughs> so, but that was it. And the odd thing was for me is that when I first started, it wasn't. My intention was not. I'm gonna quilt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna quilt yeah. quilts. Yeah, yeah. My intention was, I'm going to do art. I'm going to do portraiture. I'm going to do that. And yeah. um, what I did was I developed a love for traditional quilts, mm -hmm. as well as now the new modern quilts. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm starting to, at my old age, <laughs> I'm starting to finally um, re-enter into the art form that I really wanted to do. I've been yeah. fortunate enough to work with some amazing artists. Mm -hmm. um, Marilyn Balford mm -hmm. is uh, one of the people that I work with. Um, you know, as at my age now with uh, a little bit of my eyesight issues, I don't quite do as much with her mm -hmm. as I have before. Uh, but for example, this particular quilt, which is the Persephone quilt, yeah. I, that was the first one I did. Uh -huh. I absolutely um, loved and um, she loved it. And then we've done a wonderful series of quilts together and she has been such a generous um, yeah. collaborator so yeah. she's always been very graceful with me oh that's really awesome so, yeah. yeah working you're an artist and then working with other artists yeah. and bringing the two your two different kind of mediums together absolutely those are some amazing quilts yeah. so talking about your teaching i always love to ask so where's the coolest place you ever went to teach have you like Australia. Australia. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I love Portland. Yeah. You know, oh. because of, you know, Powell's books, six story bookstore. I mean, most of us oh. love the books. That would be so, wonderful. um, but Australia has just been one of my absolute mm -hmm. favorite places now. And I have to say, and I'm not just saying this, the other, um, place that I absolutely love is here in Salt Lake. I love Salt Lake really? because of the mountains. Okay, yeah. Um, that's I am a mountain person, even though we live on Lake Michigan. Yeah. I'm not a water guy. Mm -hmm. I am a mountain person, and I love mountains. And so it's always when I have the opportunity, I want to come to Salt Lake City because I think there are some of the most beautiful mountains in the whole world. They're I incredible. Totally agree. Yep. Yep. <laughs> totally agree. I want to die in the mountains. <laughs> I don't want to die on the lake <laughs> because well, you it's know. just peaceful. So wonderful. There we go. I'm like, I'm like, come out here and then we can quilt together and dye fabric and do all the oh, fun stuff. Oh my goodness, all the it time. could happen. What yeah. would that be fun? Yeah, it would be amazing. Oh wow. Okay, so what are some um so you mentioned your Persephone quilt. Yes. What are some other like landmark quilts for you along your quilting so, journey? For me, some of the landmark quilts is uh are one of my first ones that became very popular and it's very basic. Mm -hmm. One of my quilts that I go back to when I'm piecing because I don't get a lot of opportunity to piece I'm yeah. sure you know how that feels I do um, is I love log cabin quilts mm -hmm. and this was one of my favorites to quilt because it's when I developed my love for metallic thread uh. I am completely in love with superior metallic thread not mm -hmm. to name drop but oh. I love their um, military gold is one of my favorites really? it just oh. looks amazing cool. and it runs through any machine yeah. i've ever tried to run it on yeah and that would be this beautiful purple log cabin here so oh. and it's such Love a gorgeous that. quilt it's such you. a gorgeous quilt thank you yeah it's become a one of the signature quilts yeah you know, we all have our signature quilts yes we do so and then this particular piece mm -hmm. this one is this? by um paper pieces so oh. this was a pattern that they actually developed for me which i love and it's all English paper piecing. Oh, wow. And um, So did you piece this too? No. Okay. No, no, not all of it, no. <laughs> okay. So everybody kind of jumped in and did their part. Okay, cool. And then um, I did the quilting on it, of mm -hmm. course, and mm -hmm. um, went with the metallics and a little bit of everything. Gorgeous. Um, and learned an amazing lesson mm -hmm. while quilting this, which is with the English paper piecing, because of course I always go back to the teaching, yeah. With the English paper piecing in the open seams, mm. I learned that I want to put a nice layer of muslin between the quilt top oh. 
mm. and the batting so that that way okay. throughout the years when they start to spread you're not going to have batting gravitate up so so that was my that was my good lesson quilt mm -hmm. and then of course some of the um portraiture quilt yeah so i had a ton more and i think we knew about the the horrible um debacle in houston when the yes. trailer got stolen with 80 of our quilts and, and that so was I'm, such a shakeup yeah. in the industry yeah. like who yeah. did that it's heartbreaking yeah it but, was um but i'm rebuilding yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. there we go so but this is my love so i'm moving into yes doing the traditional mm -hmm. quilts um but i'm moving more into the portraiture type work like this it's so gorgeous so, thank you well let's talk about this quilt then okay. i mean this is just beautiful you have talk about playing with thread here so you've got even just in the background you've got two different a few different colors of quilts and and tell me is this one of your hand dyed pieces of that fabric? is one of the hand dyed pieces of fabric on cotton sateen um, and then of course the the quilting mm -hmm. texture i love putting texture oh, in the quilts um, and especially of course with all of the incredible feet on my handy mm -hmm. quilter yeah. it's one of the reasons i fell in love with my handy quilters is because of the all of the different feet choices and then of course the thread painting this is all thread oh my gosh it's and amazing and one of the things and if i can can i can i yeah not be creep can i brag about handy yes, quilter a bit yes you can one are you one of the kidding? things that i love about my handy quilters is how easy it is to tension yeah so with this piece you know okay. i don't actually quilt oh. on the sandwich so let's show everybody the back of this because yeah you so can see the back is just applic the the thread painting is yeah. applique on it's app and you can see the stitches you use to yep. hold it down but yep. all and of this give it texture incredibly intricate because i'm looking at this going this looks like this came off of an embroidery machine right but no. it's on it's your on handy i loaded on oh the gosh. long arm i just put a piece of stabilizer i sketch oh whatever God. it is that I'm doing yeah. and then I get my handy quilter out I love using um, the micro foot yeah is oh, one of my favorites seriously you so, can see where you're placing every single stitch absolutely right? and mm -hmm. I'll load in a oddly enough a um, leather needle oh really? so one of the gross Beckert okay uh, leather needles and it's wonderful because it just works with that thread when you're mm -hmm. layering mm -hmm. and of course it is it's freehand embroidery yeah, yeah but the long arm loves it mm -hmm. the handy quilters absolutely love it whether i'm on my sit down handy quilter mm -hmm. um, when i want to sit down and yeah. work on something for a long time or any of the stand-ups wow. um, so it works incredible so for a lot of times, and let me show you another example of one of the ones that I'm getting ready to do as an, a really cool. Oh, wow. So this little guy oh my gosh. is my, um, my reference, and I'm just doing some testing. So that's actually printed on that's fabric. That's just printed on fabric just as a guide while I'm, I'm at the machine. But now oh. I'm starting to do yeah, let's look the different sections oh just gosh. freehand. So I'm freehanding to figure out how to do the eye um how to do the texture of the fur and again that is the thing with the handy quilters that i love mm -hmm. the tensioning mm -hmm. even though it's just a thin stabilizer and yeah well, there's um, no batting a wonderful either. embroidery thread mm -hmm. um, i use a lot of different threads for the thread painting mm -hmm. you can use anything mm -hmm. um, magnifico i've always felt from mm -hmm. superior is a wonderful um, the shine it it's right? the shine but it mm -hmm. also compares to embroidery thread yes i think it was based on the idea of mm -hmm. embroidery thread you know so yep. any any of the embroidery threads run fantastic through the long arm machines wow that's so, so incredible. and so, the handy quilters love so many threads they There's do not a lot of threads that they don't like oh yeah if any as i say any high quality thread is like yep. their new best friend absolutely yeah. So this is so. Is this all the bigger it's going to be? Or are you going to keep building on this, this one? This is just the eye. This I was. Just I'm just practice. doing some studying. Oh so I'm just wanting to do some study on the eyes and kind of get that down. And then I'll maybe do a little bit on the face and the nose and see uh -huh. how I want to work that. So that's typically wow. how um, you kind of build. I, it builds. Okay. And then it gets started. And this one up. was one that I did as a. Um, Oh, this one right here. Quilts okay. of Valor. Oh, wow. Um, I did this oh. as an auction piece, uh, wow. Fighting for Peace. So it has the dove is thread painted mm -hmm. and then appliqued onto a hand-dyed piece of flannel. 
Yeah. Um, and there we go. So, and this was one of the ones that um, that I love. And That's actually, nice. it was um, auctioned off, mm -hmm. and uh, a wonderful friend of mine, um, Irene, um, when our trailer got stolen, mm -hmm. gave this back to me. She said, oh. because you have no quilts now. So this was kind of my seed quilt wow. to kind of get started again. Rebuild. So Yeah, yeah. Wow. So oh my gosh, that's It was amazing. very sweet. And then... Oh, that's so cool. The okay. other thing, and I got to keep going yeah. because I got to tell you, I have fallen in love. Oh, and I again, I don't so mean gorgeous. to be... Uh, no, but no, my don't handy worry about quilters it. I know, I know. Blow Can't, me away. And yeah. I, I have owned every brand. Yeah. And I, I love many machines out there. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. a snob, mm -hmm. but I will tell you, my handy quilters make me so happy <laughs> because of all of the feet. Yep. I love the quality of the stitches, mm. the ease of tension. Oh, yeah. And the gift that keeps on giving is the willingness that they will love ev almost everything every thread you throw at them so true. and they're incredible they are and they love double batting oh, i yeah. mean everything that i love mm -hmm. they love so this particular um That's quilt cool. and you can kind of see the corner with the texture yeah, it this. wasn't real turpunto it was actually just double batted i used a 80 20 towards the back i used a wool On the towards the um top just to give that wonderful texture and the same thing with the little girl with the umbrella oh my gosh now is this so. like a silk yes so this is, this is actually i'm sorry gorgeous. this oh, no. is not silk so oh, okay. i use cotton sateen and you can see oh. that i use the same hand dye type thing okay. on the back yeah but what i did with the top is i wanted this heavy sheen yeah and so i went and found the 60 inch wide shimmering organza I appliqued, oh. I appliqued oh the girl gosh. with the umbrella to shimmering organza, loaded that as my quilt top, floated another piece of hand dye under, under. that just to give that color underneath. Okay. So this particular shimmering organza was a pro, um, it was a light lavender or a light purple. Okay. So um, that's how I did this, and then it just had a piece of hand dye floated, and it turned out good. That uh, good. Uh, good. Yeah, this is amazing. Good. Thank you. I, I looked. I seriously, because like that texture. Okay, I could totally feel that organza. Because I'm like, this is not just cotton shiny, here. Shiny, shiny, <laughs> shiny. Yes. We love our bling. Well, I love my bling. Well, and the so. way that it. I mean, depending on how you hold it in the light, it changes colors because you've got that extra color on top exactly. of it. Exactly. I never thought of doing something like I that. I love it. It's, it's wonderful amazing. for our quilts. And by the way, this has been washed probably over really? seventy times. Are and you it serious? holds up well. It's it. It's great. So I, again, and amazing. the tension again, oh, yeah. the handy quilter Perfect. tension. No matter how many Perfect. times you wash it, that's why I love them. Okay, so I'm going to remember this because I love the look of this. Looks like a silk quilt, but the it fact does. that you can wash it yes. and it, yeah. Okay, you yep. just I've learned my my thing there for the go. day. This is awesome. This go. is awesome. And this was so. the um um um. Giraffes yes. was my, this was a ode to my mother. Oh, and this is who the same. always wore same thing. Yeah. So this was overlaid with a, a beautiful smoke, mm -hmm. um, oh, um, shimmering organza. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, beautiful. the giraffe was an ode, the mother and son to my mm -hmm. mom, who yeah. had always wore these false eyelashes. She was, <laughs> always had these long, long eyelashes. Look at those. So that was that. Oh, yeah. it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so fun to see those two different techniques. And of course, once again, your hand dyed. The yeah, gradient across here is so pretty. Dyes. Hand dyeing is so fun. I know. I you got. Know? I had the immense privilege. Yay, we had a fun day. We did. I oh got to goodness. actually dye fabric with Jamie. And yeah. I, I was telling was him blast. before, yeah, I've, I've done one small little project. And I just, I go in and pet and admire. And it's I will make more. Use. Yeah, It's yeah. so hard. But I'll tell you what, seeing what you've done here with the whole cloth, I'm thinking, you know, some of those pieces could definitely use this treatment. That's uh -huh. awesome. And oh. you wouldn't have to piece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could just quilt that because that's all you I know, want to do. And then for me, you know, I never switch. Uh, the year coming up mm -hmm. is finally my year. So yeah. um, I've, I've said to myself, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm no longer going to be taking custom quilts. 
Um, yeah. I want to do a deep dive into the pro stitcher because I've fallen yes. in love with it. Um, I love doing my edge to edge. Mm -hmm. My custom, which I've always done freehand, yeah. I'm getting to that age. And um, I know a lot of people out there can, can actually understand. I am getting to the age where to stand at the machine every day like I do for eight to 12 hours yep. is too much. Mm -hmm. And the pro stitcher is so friendly mm -hmm. and I am so not computer literate. <laughs> and what I have fallen in love with with the pro stitcher and I'm heading and getting ready to do my deep dive into yeah. that. So that's kind of my next thing. So I'm excited. I well, that... am real excited. So, okay, so I have to ask, if yes. you're gonna deep dive into Pro Stitcher, do you think you're gonna be creating some of your own designs? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. With the designer? How yeah, can you I was not? gonna say, so we get to do some designer <sighs> too. Yay. Oh, this is yeah, gonna be so I'm much fun. I'm excited. Oh, because I can imagine, so maybe you can digitize some of these designs Absolutely. for me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, oh, yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. You know, it's wonderful. I love, again, not to swoon, mm -hmm. but honestly, I love that Handy Quilter has everything I need in yeah. one spot. That's true. And I love that they're there to support this whole line of ability mm -hmm. to use all of your art form, yeah. whether you want to do freehand, mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. you want to do technology, yeah. um, and that they've made it so easy for those of us who don't have the skills with technology yeah. to just do it. It is so intuitive. I love it. That's so great. Yeah, no, it's it's true. And we, we work really hard on that. So it's good to hear. Uh, it's good to hear that you, yeah. you agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to, with your quilting journey? I mean, I know, um, so you actually have been... Um, I haven't been traveling as yeah, much. Yeah, you haven't been traveling, Because I'm teaching starting to fall in love. COVID yeah. was a reset for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. um, Rich and I, the COVID was a good reset. Yeah. Um, you know, we wanted to start doing some self-care because mm -hmm. um, yeah. traveling can help put on the pounds. Oh. COVID helped and yeah. want to do some self-care, want to remind the dogs that we are their parents <laughs> and um, also um, so what we decided was we are doing a lot of um, online we're mm -hmm. doing a lot of zoom classes yeah, yeah we also I wanted a community that I could just because I love to film and I love to teach yeah. and I wanted a community so I decided to open a patreon channel right um, for us so that we could teach that way and we have constant we have hundreds of video up videos up at this point mm -hmm. that people can reference when they go and join our patreon channel and of course youtube is always there yep. we constantly keep doing that for those folks who can't afford to do yeah. some of the other things travel and such because traveling is getting expensive yeah you know? it is yeah. so um your patreon channel what's it yes. called it is the Quilters Apothecary. Quilters so, Apothecary. Quilters Apothecary is okay. our brand. I was I went through a steampunk moment years ago. Uh, we all do. And yeah. <laughs> um, Quilters Apothecary, your prescription for a happy and healthy quilter is kind I of our tagline. Love line. it. Love it. So anyway, so it's under the Quilters Apothecary okay. uh, title brand, mm -hmm. and so that's. That's that. Okay, that's where you find it. And on YouTube also? YouTube also, it would be under Quilters Apothecary okay. as well. My Jamie Wallen YouTube channel, I've decided to kind of keep specifically for fun, fun other things mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. cooking and my cross oh. stitch stuff. And oh, I didn't know you did my, that um, on there. Um, I designed adult coloring books, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for us adults that still like to color. color. So uh, yeah. yeah, so that's that's what I do that's on that awesome. channel. Awesome, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's great because I know, you know, where you're not traveling as much, people yeah. are always asking, how can we still, you know, learn right. from Jamie? So right. that's, that's where yeah, you Patreon are. Patreon is a wonderful thing. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is. Well, in your pajamas. That's right. That's the best part. I love, and you know, the best part is you can teach in your pajamas too. That's because right. Nobody, yep. you know, shirt, pajama, pajama bottoms, bottoms. You're good. <laughs> Ready to go with my cozy slippers on that's and my right. dog right that's there. Exactly right, that's the exactly dog's right it. there. Yep. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining Thank me. You. you know, Kim, I got to tell you, you're amazing. Oh, You're well, just such you. a wonderful inspiration. You've always been so kind to me, and it's oh, so appreciated. Well, I appreciate it. I'm right back at you. The I've, whole Handy Quilter um, staff is incredible. Well, thank you. They've always I, treated me well. I remember when I first started really quilting right around 2002 when I had my first baby, and um, 
you were one of the very first oh. people, seriously. Oh. And I was like, on my bucket list, I'm going to take a class from him oh. someday. So yeah. the chance that I have to um, work with you too has just been amazing. And now you inspire me. Oh, so well, hey, there we go. Full circle, full it circle is there. Totally, life is that way. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Be sure to stick around so that you can see if your quilt is one of the ones being featured at the end of the video. If you want your quilt to be on there, be sure to tag your posts with hashtag handyquilter. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe and have fun quilting.